Good morning friends. Welcome to Panika's Tutorials YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss one of the gate question which came in the year 2015. First, let me read out the question. Then I will discuss the solution with you. Consider the intermediate code. They have given the 11 lines of intermediate code, the number of nodes and edges in the control flow graph constructed on the above intermediate code. So from this intermediate code, we need to construct the control flow graph. In the control flow graph, we need to identify the nodes and the edges. They have given the four options. We need to solve this question and find the right option for this question. This concept I have discussed in one of my earlier videos on how to detect or identify loops from the intermediate code. Identifying the loops from the high level language is easy as compared to the intermediate code. So now what I have to do, first I need to identify the leaders. So how can I identify the leaders? The first instruction in this intermediate code will act as a leader. Are you able to understand? So this is the leader. And similarly, you need to identify whether you have any conditional or unconditional go to statements in the intermediate code. If you look at here, this is one conditional go to statement and this is another conditional go to instruction. What it is written go to 3. So you need to go to the statement 3 and write it as a one leader. Okay, so this is a leader. So I am representing the leaders as L. Similarly, it is written as go to 2. So this instruction will act as a leader. Till now I have got three leaders. Now remember the next important step. Whatever the instructions are there after the conditional or unconditional statement will act as a leader. So this is a one leader because after this go to statement the next instruction is instruction number 10 which will act as a leader. After this instruction there is no other instructions so we will not keep them as a leader. So I got four leaders. Is it clear or not? We have already discussed about the procedure of identifying the leaders. Okay. I hope you have watched the entire video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding. Now, once I identify the leaders, I need to identify the basic blocks. What is a basic block? Basic block will consist of a sequence of instructions will be executed. So you will have a entry and the instruction one will be executed then instruction 2, 3, 4 and then it will come. Meaning is that it will not have any go to or jump instructions. Okay. Is it clear? So this is about the basic block. So now I need to identify how many basic blocks are there in this intermediate code. Now how can I do it? First thing is that I need to identify the basic blocks such a way that first take the ladder 1 from this ladder go to till the next ladder. Okay, from this ladder, go to the next ladder, but don't include the instruction which is there in the next ladder. So one is the this block. So a basic block will come from the a ladder till it goes to the next ladder and it should not include the instruction which is there in the next layer. Similarly, let's take this one. From this ladder, you can enter all these instructions till 9 because the next ladder is that at instruction number 10 we should not include the instruction number 10 so a one basic block will consist of instructions from 3 to 9 so this basic block will consist of instruction as i is equal to 1 this is my basic block 1 is it clear are you able to understand similarly from this label i should go till to the next leader but i should not include the instruction which is there in the next ladder. So this is my basic block 2 consists of instruction j is equal to 1. Let me write it as basic block 2. Similarly, I got the basic block 3 from the instruction 3 to 9. Okay. My basic block 3 consists of instruction from 3 to 9. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? I should not include the instruction number 10. Similarly, if you look at it from this ladder, we don't have a next ladder, but obviously this is the next instruction will be your next ladder, but they have not given the next instruction. So I did not consider it as a ladder. 
so we should have a instruction number 10 and 11 in the basic block 4 so till now i got the four basic blocks and this intermediate code will have the entry and will have the exit am i right or wrong so these are the another two basic blocks okay is it clear so totally we have one two three four five six basic blocks we got now once we got the basic blocks we need to identify the edges how the edges will be done how this intermediate code is flowing from instruction one where you will go you will go to the instruction so so obviously it will be entry from the basic block one you will go to the basic block two because after this instruction is executed the next instruction you need to execute is j is equal to one from this instruction which instruction you will execute t1 is equal to 5 into 1 so which is there in the basic block 3 now you look at it from this one where you will go if this condition is true you will go to the go to 3 now where is go to 3 is there here only so it will be like this how many members have understood i don't know if you look at it instruction number 9 is written as go to 3 it is a conditional go to statement when this condition is true you will execute this one if the condition is fail you will execute the next instruction let's take that this condition is true then what you will execute go to 3 so you will execute this instruction so from 9 you will go to the instruction number 3 so from this basic block you will go to the same basic block if this condition is fail you will execute the next instruction as i is equal to i plus 1 so which is there in the basic block 4 so from basic block 3 you will go to basic block 4 from basic block 4 if this condition is fail you will go to the exit am i right or wrong if this condition is true i is less than 5 then what you will do have to do you have to go to statement 2 and execute it where is the statement 2 is there in the basic block 2 so if this condition is true you will execute this one so this is about the control flow graph see we have discussed about the graph and then how the control flow is going on this intermediate code so this is about the construction procedure for the control flow graph once we construct the control flow graph we need to identify the number of nodes how many nodes are there one two three four five six nodes are there let me write the number of nodes as n o d e s as six then what is the next thing they have asked find the number of edges how many edges are there this is one two three four five then six seven edges are there so number of edges are seven now you can ask me sir how to identify the whether there is a loop or not now look at the control flow graph is there any cycle from here it is going here so this is a cycle so this is a one loop is there similarly do you have another cycle yes from here you are coming and you are going back again it is a cycle so i can say that this intermediate code having two loops because this control flow graph having the two cycles so i can say that the intermediate code having two loops however they have not asked how many loops are there they have asked number of nodes and number of edges which is 6 comma 7 so the right answer for this question is option b i hope you have understood how i solve this question if you did not watch the entire video or if you have a doubts related to this question feel free to ask me in the comment section i will clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day